all right guys welcome back to spiritual selfish channel if you're new here welcome my name is christina day and on this channel we focus on you so that you can raise your personal vibration and become conscious creator of your own reality today's guys video um i really felt the nudge to create about what's the one most important thing to do and one most important thing not to do in during this you know crazy transitional times that we're going through right now on our planet earth right so i've been noticing a lot of people you know falling either into the fear or either into love and light or you know there's so much craziness and madness and so much information um out there that you know a lot of the people are getting confused what to believe i don't know what to believe a lot of the people feel pressured to make choices to do things they do not want to do so of course a lot of the people will feel confused scared not knowing what to do because let's be honest no one freaking knows what to do because we're going through transitional times on earth that have never before happened before right um so if you feel that you know this period of time the last 18 months have been getting to you definitely keep watching this video because i'm going to share with you how you can stay in your line uh, what can you do so that you are not so affected by the external world so de definitely give it a like and let's jump in so one of the most important things you can do each and every one of you and us can do right now is to unite and when i say unite I mean unity consciousness. We have to start living from unity consciousness. Because if you look back on all the, you know, wars and tragedies, what is at the core of it? Separation, divide, right? So this is how those beings and entities who have been ruling our earth for you know generations and generations of years and thousands of years that's how they do it. they divide humanity they say you're right you're black you're right you're wrong right vaxxed not vaxxed it doesn't freaking matter it does not matter as long as they keep us fighting each other we're blinded from what they are doing to us right and it so it's not versus me versus you and it's not even us versus them right it's about realizing and seeing the great opportunity that is in front of us right now the great opportunity for us to step up the great opportunity for us to create solutions the great opportunity for us to truly step into our power because everything that is happening right now in the world is just the culmination the manifestation and the reflection of our current human consciousness level it is just reflecting to us what we have been allowing something outside of us to do things you know on us <laughs> to control us to tell us what to do uh, to abuse us to persecute people in the past and you know a lot of this stuff starts to happen again into uh, in today a day and age so it is just reflecting us and showing us what humanity um have been allowing because let's agree in the past our consciousness level was so much lower most of the people did not have information access to the information we have now most you know people did not have opportunity to connect with like-minded people so uh, all the information sources were television newspapers the brainwashed media the bought media that was created to speak a specific narrative so obviously back in the time it was much harder and challenging for people to even realize what is going on now we have the opportunity to realize what's going on 
but you know the dark force the entities elites whatever you want to call them they're pushing the same narrative they're still trying to divide us but the thing is now our consciousness level is higher than ever before there are more quotes woke people people who woke up to the limitations people who woke up to the control systems and now we're ready to uh, take those first steps to not to buy into their um, agenda to push back and when i say push back i don't always mean fight you know with your hands and aggression but fight by not agreeing by not obeying and by uniting right so i know there's a lot of you light warriors and light workers who might be falling into oh waxed not waxed oh you you are obedient you are a sheep then you're my enemy this is not the way to go the only way through this is by truly uniting by bringing all of our forces together right and of course there will be people who unconsciously will be on the side of government or on the side of the elites and purely unconsciously they will be thinking that they are doing good things by following by obedience you cannot hate on those people you cannot divide and separate right Instead, as a conscious creator, as a conscious leader, you have to understand that you have to take your responsibility, you have to raise your level of consciousness to be the leader and to help people who are not able, because of their naivety and level of brainwashing they've gone through, they're not able to see what you are able to see. You as a leader, have to go first and show that you are able to unite with those who may think different than you so when we are coming and living our day-to-day -day life from the unity consciousness this is when you do not feel alone this is when you don't feel that the world is against you and you don't feel that pressure that you have to fight everyone around you right so the step that's the most important thing and that one, one kind of long as always but guys think about unity consciousness too uh, uh the second thing that is also very important to do is unplug yourself from the matrix as much as you can right the la last year was one of the first steps the beginning when people unplugged from the matrix based on their jobs because many people could not go to the job to their work they started their online businesses and that's one of the first steps how you can unplug ma from the matrix stop being dependent on those systems right so being job money is one of the biggest systems then you know growing your own food your transportation and so on and so forth once you don't depend on those systems that they control then it's easier for you to control what you consume. It's easier for you to be in charge of your energy, right? Because, you know, for those who work on for themselves, they don't really care what's going on with, you know, employment, not employment, because it doesn't really affect you, right? Um, so unplug from the metrics as much as you can. And the second thing that I promised you, which is what not to do during these transitional times on Earth, is buy into more fear narratives. Okay, so why? What I mean here? There are a lot of leaders, spiritual thought leaders that I observe online, who will you know create their own Telegram uh, chats and so on and so forth, just to talk. Um, about the the V and how bad it is to uh, gather all the information how bad it is how, all the side effects who will talk about all these conspiracy theories and so on and so forth and while it is super important to stay stay aware and um, about what is going on and what agenda is trying to bring push down our throats if you want to live and create the new earth you cannot create the new earth if all you do and all you feed your energy into 
is fear. Is oh my god, the VE is so bad. Oh my god, the government wants to do this. Oh my god, they want... And so on and so forth. Of course, stay aware of what's going on in the world. But if all you do is focus on that, it will be very hard for you. Right? Tell me how, you know, put your hand up. <laughs> how many of you started reading something and you absolutely get sucked into it? I'm guilty of this as well, right? When I start reading, oh my God, just about the tests and the nanoparticles in it and how it, you know, blocks your pineal gland and so on and so forth and so forth. And sometimes I can, I, you know, in the evening, I will be like, oh my God, why well, I feel like crap. I'm like, the whole day I was reading that shit <laughs> because I was in that vibration and it drained my energy, right? I have a lot of the friends right now, not a lot, but some friends who might send me like 20 voice notes talking about how things are going on crazy, you know, the, the quarantine camps being created and so on and so forth. And while I understand it is crappy situation, I remind all of you, where do you put your energy? So with this video, guys, all I want you to become aware of is your vibration, your daily vibration, right? And understand we're going through a huge transition. And the only way to get through it without, you know, being hit really, really hard, because it's, it's challenging for all of us, it is to take care of your energy. By one, not buying into fear narratives, staying aware, but not buying into that, not conditioning yourself even further, but raising your consciousness level, raising your vibration to what? Unity consciousness, to uniting with other people. And how you can amplify your energy even more is by unplugging from the matrix where you can, right? Grow your own food, uh, start your own business, you know look into those things and also the last thing very very important is stay connected with like-minded people and when i say like-minded people enjoy communities again be very aware of where what do you what kind of community do you join those who just uh, you know bash and, and talk about how everything is bad or communities who are talking about the new solutions Right, because when we create new solutions, and trust me, there are so many leaders who are bringing new solutions. When we create new solutions, the old system will become obsolete. Do we need to fight back? Do we need to go? And, and imagine if all of us right now will go and fight with our fists on the street. Can we create the new earth? Absolutely not. Who is gonna create and path the way to the solutions and to do new way? Do we need, uh, is, has it a place for protest and fight 100%? If we don't have it, who is going to say no? Who is going to push back? So we have to understand this is how we unite. Each and every one of us has unique role. Each and every one of us is a unique puzzle of the picture. And you have to tune in. What is the you know, role that you feel the most aligned during these times and don't think that you don't matter. Don't think if you have been sitting behind the screen of computer so far that your, your, your role doesn't matter. You really matter. And the message you bring and you share and you talk with other people, right, in, in your circle is already doing the work. So guys, I hope this was helpful for you. Let me know how are you feeling during these uh, times on earth? Uh, because yes, I'm all about, you know, pushing back, but staying in the highest alignment and vibration possible to creating earth, to create the world where we all can coexist in unity and support each other, right? Because at the end of everything, all of us just want to be seen, heard, loved, and understood, right? So, my love bugs, I hope this video finds you well. Let me know how you feel. Give it a like, and we'll talk next week. Bye!